947 hours, Tuesday, February 20, 1962. Friendship 7 launches atop an Atlas rocket, America's attempt at a manned Earth orbit, and using a rocket that's catastrophically failed in two previous attempts. Showing exceptional courage, Major John Glenn Jr. is in the module truly heading into the great unknown. Roger, zero G, and I feel fine. Over Australia, the people of Perth blink their lights. Uh, Roger, the lights show up very well. On his next orbit, Glenn described unexplained glowing objects resembling fireflies surrounding the capsule. Oh, that view is tremendous. Disaster loomed after three orbits. A warning light in Houston flashed a major issue that could prevent a return to Earth. Uh, Roger, understand I will have to make a manual uh, O5G entry when it occurs and uh, bring a scope in uh, manually as that affirm. Few in Mission Control believed he would survive. We made a uh, very uh, risky decision to uh, re-enter with the retro rocket package attachment. Radio contact disappeared for four minutes as Friendship 7 plummeted towards Earth. Main chute is on green, chute is out in reef condition at 10,800 feet and beautiful chute. Glenn's mission came as NASA chased the Russian lead. Cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin completed an Earth orbit in Vostok 1 in April 1961. In June 1963, Valentina Tereshkova became the first woman to reach outer space in Vostok 6. It is I, Seagull. Everything is fine. I see the horizon. It's sky blue with a dark strip. How beautiful the Earth is. Everything is going well. Major General Tereshkova spent almost three days in orbit. The Cold War eventually thawed. The United States and Russia became partners in the International Space Station along with Japan, Europe and Canada. A partnership made possible only by the exploits of the men and women pioneers of space.